Wait, is We're it back again talking about graphing absolute value equations. And you will remember that we graphed y equals the absolute value of x, and this is what we ended up with was this V shape graph thingy right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at, at this equation in a few different forms and see how it changes when it looks a little bit different. So we look at this one and we say, well, the difference between these two, the purple and red, is that we have the absolute value of x, but we're adding 1 to that. So how does that change the graph? Well, if we do our t-chart, and we'll do it right here, and we say x and y, and we choose our five numbers for x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and we start plugging them in, and we will see what happens. Negative 2, the absolute value of negative 2, is positive 2, and we add 1 to that, and we get 3. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1, we add 1 to that, and we get 2. 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0. We add 1 to that, we get 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1. We add 1 to that, we get 2. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. We add 1 to that, and we get 3. And so we go back over here, and we graph those points. Negative 2 3. So over negative 2, up 3, and we have a point right there. Negative 1, 2, we have a point right there. 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 3. And so there's our graph right there. And what do you notice about the difference between the purple graph and the red graph? You're right! It moves it up <laughs> one space on the graph. It just moved it up one. So when I look at it, I can look at this and say, okay, I know that the plus one is on the outside of the absolute value of x, and so I move it up one on the graph. So if I was looking at this and saying, well, on the brown, I have y equals the absolute value of x minus three, what might that do to the graph. Well, my guess would be that it might move it down 3. But I want to check, I want to do a t-chart and check to make sure that that's going to be true. So we set up a t-chart here, x, y, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And I say, okay, the absolute value of negative 2 is going to be 2, minus 3 ends up being negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1 minus 3, and we're going to end up with negative 2. The absolute value of 0 is 0, minus 3 is negative 3. The absolute value of 1 is 1, minus 3 is negative 2. And the absolute value of 2 is 2, minus 3 is uh, negative 1. Okay, remember, we had made a guess that this would move this graph, the purple graph, down 3. Let's graph it and see if that is indeed what happened. Negative 2, negative 1, we have a point there. Negative 1, negative 2, we have a point there. 0, negative 3. 1, negative 2. And 2, negative 1. And what do you know? The graph has been translated. That's the word we use, translated, down three units on the graph. So anytime you look at an absolute value graph and you see that on the outside there's a plus or a minus some number, what you're doing is you're moving that graph up or down. Positive is up, negative is down. And so now if I looked at a graph that said y equals the absolute value of x minus 4, I could, without even doing a t-chart, I could say, oh, I know that that moves it down 4 on the graph. There's my v. No t-chart. Saves a lot of time. Okay?